Three hours of fishing. Ross has finally caught a monster. Let's put him back. Well, hello and welcome back. Um, it's got to be two years since the channel was producing videos, but we're back this year. Ross and I have decided to take the channel back on to try and get it up and running, get a few more videos out there, and hopefully this will be the first video of many this year. Today we're going to take you back in time to last summer where we had some fantastic summer sessions and we're also going to touch on and show a few clips for some more recent sessions um, from the start of this year. Okay, so last summer we went to Devon to a place called Lakeview Manor. Uh, we spent seven days here fishing for carp. Uh, we had great weather and it was really good. So, as you will have just seen, we had some really, really nice fish out over the summer, didn't we? Down at Lakeview Manor. Um, it was all close range, stalking fish. We had fish out on the surface, you know, getting a real good swim going, control of float work at range. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get any footage, but as you will have seen from those photographs, we had some really nice fish out. And I think the biggest fish of the week was um, a 20 pound or a 19 so. pound yeah. common. Um, it was a, it was just stalked so close to the edge, it was just great fishing. Um, and more recently, what have we been up to? Uh, so recently we've been going to Damhead Fisheries, yeah, our yeah. local venue around here. However, the weather has been absolutely appalling, oh, hasn't it's it? It's been terrible. It's been freezing, it's been raining, it's been really windy as well. So it's been really hard fishing, but we've got to get out there and got to keep fishing, haven't you? Yeah, we thought we'd give it a go. Um, it, was, it must have been early January when we went. I've got so. a few yeah, clips yeah. to show you now. Um, and yeah. See what we caught. There's another one. A very, very cold little car, little mirror. Just taken on the pellet feeder. Just see what happens today, a little bit of an experimental session, seeing how many different species we can pick up or if we can actually catch anything because it is freezing last night, it was really cold, but there we go. A lovely little mirror car. Another car, change of swim, located a couple more fish, but this fish looks like it's possibly had been attacked, I don't really know. Anyone knows, drop it down in the comment why it's got a really kinked tail, a bit strange, but a bit of a creature to add to the collection for today. Big mouth on it. Let's get it back and see if we can get anything a little bit bigger. Absolutely stunning. Stunning fish. Nice, let's get one back. One minute, one minute. Oh. has finally caught a monster. Let's put him back. <laughs> okay, so as you've just seen, the session at Dam Head, early January, Cold, wet, and as we said, pretty <laughs> unsuccessful, especially for Ross over here. A tiny little roach to show for it. But more recently, the weather's warmed up a little bit. We are not seeing any frozen lakes anymore. We're seeing temperatures into double figures on some occasions. And uh, a few days ago, I took advantage of a really nice evening, crept down to Dam Head and yeah. um, had a good result. Yeah, you certainly did. And you'll see that in the clips coming up now. Well, good evening, guys. We're here tonight at Dam Head Lane Fishery once again, and it's early April. It's about 10 degrees, and the wind has died down. We've had a southeasterly blowing in today, and I just thought that tonight felt right for a carp. So I decided to come down here. It is a commercial, but as you see, I've got the place to myself. And we're gonna just see, there's a few nice mid doubles in here. There's a few nice, fish just under the 20 pound mark so we've got two rods out tonight we're gonna fish into dark i think just maybe a couple of hours maybe three hours at a push and we will see how the session goes but as you can see flat calm out there now we've got one rod down the edge on a little pop-up and we've got another rod on a more delicate approach 
on a little pellet feeder with a little bit of popped up corn and we're just going to see see what happens really this evening see if anything produces okay okay well um quite surprised and quite pleased really i've got something a little bit special in the net um it's a real nice fish for this pond for this lake and i'll get it on the mat now and let's uh, have a little look well here she is then a margin caught lump for this lake really a mid to low double but a short evening session it doesn't get much better than that small commercial water flicked a rod in the margin and there we have it a lovely common let's slip her back well uh, really pleased really pleased with that result um, as I say the rod's been in for about an hour on a nice little margin spot a few free free baits just scattered around the area fish to pop up over the top I'll show you the rigs and all that maybe on another video or something because at the moment I want to get as as much fishing time as possible by keeping the rods in the water so as I said short session maybe I've got about half an hour left before before dark and before I head off but I can't complain that was a really really nice fish for this lake um, you know a, a good size for the lake and yeah mission accomplished successful session okay guys just to run through where I'm fishing um, as you can see we've got this left hand rod here I'm fishing around here and the right hand rod is cast out just over here we've got a scattering of baits between the two and the left hand rod produced that fish earlier on 